Hello, I will refer to different parts of the abacus as I present the concepts. Before we begin, I want to familiarize you with the parts of the abacus and explain some of the general practices we use when moving beads. When you look at your abacus, it is framed, which is how we refer to it, the frame. The bar that crosses lengthwise across the abacus is the beam. We will use this term a lot. The beads below the beam are the lower beads, those above it, the upper beads. So once again, frame, beam, lower beads, upper beads. The beads are all attached to what we will refer to as columns. The column we mention most is the ones column, which we also will call the McDonald point. We mark this beam, we mark the beam at this column so we can find it easily and stay on track as we move between columns. We will refer to it in this way so we know where we start each time. You will want to take a permanent marker, a sharpie or something similar, and draw a little square on the beam in the middle of the column of your abacus, like similar to this one. When you're working on your abacus, you will want to sit up straight. When you slouch or, or tend to lean, your brain goes into rest mode. So to really maximize your lesson, it's best to sit straight. As you look at this abacus, you will notice there are no beads touching the beam. This means the abacus is not showing any number or value. This means our abacus is cleared and has a value of zero. When I say clear, I usually refer to clearing the columns we are using. This is actually referred to as quick clear. When you clear the entire abacus, you run your index finger and thumb from the left side of your abacus to your right, similar to this. Beads, the thumb, the lower. To quick clear, you simply push apart the beads on a few columns or a single column. In between problems, you will always want to quick clear so you can prepare for the next question. Always be sure to hold your abacus with the left hand and move beads with your right hand. If you are left-handed, you will do the opposite. There are times when you will work with paper and will need to use a pen. We refer to the holding of the pen and preparing the fingers for movement as abacus C because the hand is in a C shape. This allows us to optimize our writing time so we do not slow ourselves down. Use this form every time you are writing answers and always use a pen. If you make a mistake, simply cross through. If you scribble out an answer, you waste time. Simply drawing a line through is fine, then move on to the next problem. Here is how you flip back and forth from calculating to writing. Very easy. Pause a DVD and practice it a few times. Always use the fingers you are instructed to use and in the way you are told to use them. This is the most effective movement for speed and accuracy. You may want to enter contests and competitions, and if you do not learn how to properly move the beads, your time and accuracy will suffer. Plus, repetitive movement solidifies the connection from your brain to your hand. So when you are told thumb up, you use the thumb and push a bead to the beam, and when you hear finger down, you use the index finger to move a lower bead down from the beam, and so on. If you hear push apart at the same time, that means you will push upper and lower beads apart at the same time using these same fingers. And when you hear pull together at the same time, you pull upper and lower beads toward the beam at the same time using the correct fingers. I will explain this quite a few times during the lesson, but I just want to make sure you're aware of it before we start. Okay, move on to lesson one.